if I got to sing about Got a doctor's appointment tomorrow It's at a center that specializes in AIDS Although thank God I'm HIV negative Kinda of funny that's all roped into how I wanna love someone. If I wanna love someone, you gotta get tested. You gotta make sure you're clean. That's kind of funny. I'm on Lexapro and Truvada. Go around New York looking for people to stretch my ass But I'm not ashamed Feels really good But then again it doesn't make me happy To walk to the store to buy beer I've not been to Manhattan in a while Except to go to the doctor's office the episode of Naruto today where he meets his mom for the first time and it broke my heart and I hope to meet my mom like that someday I think I found myself again Found myself again I think I found myself again Found myself again And I'm kind of a dick Yelling at indigenous poets on Twitter, I don't give a shit They cheated on me when my mom was in the hospital for cancer I don't give a shit, go fuck yourself
It just brings another change People picking up bottles across the street Just another bed stop Monday Big Daddy Kane's best I block it's not my block, it's Big Daddy Kane. Ikea to buy a window shade Cause this time of year the sun changes its direction And the sun comes in my window and it wakes me up and blinds me I don't really like that cause it really is fucking bright I'm so happy about this microphone It sounds so good I was worried about paying like 400 bucks When I can't even afford my rent But I bought it a year ago And I still have my mom's life insurance I recorded little tune I put my fucking heart into it And then no one listened to it Gotta check your brakes I'm afraid to get my t test done tomorrow I'm afraid they're gonna tell me to drink too much They've been trying to get me into therapy But they got me on Lexapro which seems to be working fine I'm worrying on my family Dad, I still love you forever and always But not the NYPD gave to our house I think they said that the Littleton police Never got a text or anything, but I still love you. My sister said you didn't even know anything that happened, and probably still don't, because I haven't talked to you in quite a long
she didn't want me to ever talk about her experience. The worst fucking experience in the world. But she kept strong through it and held her great. Man, she was the best. We used to go hiking. And then at the end of hiking, we would drink Jamba Juice at the place right next to Blockbuster. Almost knocked my TV over. New York is my home. New York is my home. New York is my home. Never felt comfortable in Denver Cause I grew up in Littleton I was hiding under a desk The day Columbine happened Dave Sanders Rest in peace Dave Sanders Supposedly A reporter was trying to crawl through the window Of his daughter When my sister and mom were there that's some crazy shit. The fuck is up with the news? My sister was class president and helped usher in the student. My grandparents paid for a trip for us to go to Germany. We went to Germany with them, stayed in Weisenfeld. And the whole time, it's like people there knew what Littleton was. But it's such an unspectacular place. I moved to Austin. I went to Alamo Draft House and Torchy's Taco. And I came back home, and then Alamo Draft House built one in Littleton. I was like, what? It was so strange It was so strange I saw Mad Max there For my friend's wedding It was a bachelor party But my friends were really liked it And the more I thought about it I thought about how it really was Just a big long car chase scene That never stopped and never let up And that's actually super impressive So now I think better of that movie Perform these songs live because there's too many lyrics. I won't be able to. But I don't ever play live, so that doesn't really matter, does it?
I hope our key stays open. I need to get my window blinds. Window, window blinds. I was gonna talk about why I like New York. I'll talk about it on the next song. Here we go. New York City is an amazing place that's rapidly changing. I feel ashamed to live in bed and kind of be part of the gentrification problem. But I try to say hi to all my neighbors and we get along. Our groundskeeper guy is really cool. He's an army vet. He got kicked out of a spa for smoking marijuana in it And I'm like, dude, you're the best Shout out TJ Ooh. Manhattan's been kinda crazy I kinda don't enjoy it anymore So I feel like a real New Yorker Complaining about the changes I hate when I'm walking down the sidewalk And they're walking five in a row Five wide And walking really slowly It's like, dude It's treated like a traffic Pedestrians could really Suck my ass New York pedestrians Suck my Just move over a little bit so I can get by But then they don't I used to go to the Lower East Side That was my favorite But now all the places that I love are gone And now I'm kinda pissed off What happened to Sunshine Cinema? What happened to Local 138? I was in the other night, the bartender learned that her job was gonna get messed up Cause they were gonna try and sell the bar It was this drunk guy that walked in from a show And I was sitting alone at the bar cause I'm a lonely asshole And he was rambling drunk, which I know nothing about And he started saying things about how the owner was gonna sell the bar and she's like, I hadn't heard about that before And he's like, oh shit And everybody was silent around like Damn it Call horns, call horns Wolfie says he loves you all Wolfie's my stuffed animal The day my mom found out the chemo was gonna Oh, it's gonna be depressing, I'm sorry The day my mom found out the chemo was gonna work she just kind of went upstairs and cried And I didn't know what to do So I brought her Wolfie and I said Hey Wolfie loves you And I brought her to her And she smiled I think it lit her day up That's all I tried to do My sister Andrea was the nurse She was the best Man I love you, Andrea, and Heather as well, but Heather had a kid. They both pulled the fair share, and we somehow got through it together. Even though there's a gaping hole that will never leave. But I guess this was called life. Wow, that's deep. <laughs> oh no. Ooh. Making a song for Anthony Fantano. Hey, what's up? Back in 2010, I was saying that I'm a music to blog. And I sang my music to his. He was a super blog, small blog at that time. And I wanted to send him a music 
I sent him my song, Live and Breathing, and he posted it. Then he started doing videos. And I was like, that's kind of weird. Like, stick to blogging, dude. Blogging is the jam. Like, no one was trying to get in the videos, but he was forward thinking, and then he started making videos. I've never been on one of Anthony Fantano's videos. He's covered so many of his songs, though. I don't think he likes me, though. I think he feels an obligation because he's like, hey, that guy's alright. But I'm also dick. He knows that I'm obnoxious or shit. Ooh, Anthony Fantano. Anthony Fantano. Anthony Fantano. I don't want this guy to get immortalized in a song by Larry Fitzgerald. I mean, Larry Fitzmorris sent me an email from Pitchfork saying passing thanks. I've never got my music on Pitchfork. Cause I think they fucking shit. I hate Pitchfork. I hate Stereo Gun. I hate a lot of other things. But I try not to let the negativity eat me alive. I know I'm talented and lazy, and that enough? No, it isn't, cause when you're trying to pay rent And all these assholes are only covering bands that they're friends with It really fucking sucks That's why I respect Anthony Fantano I think he kinda leaves that out Except for Brockhampton I think he's trying to be friends with Brockhampton Anthony Fantano Oh, you're on my eighth album Congratulations, dude. You're like the biggest music critic in the world. Of course I'm going to put you on my album. I need to go to Ikea to buy blinds. I don't know what to call this album. My career up to, to this point has been a completely train wreck Then I started making random songs for people on Twitter I've never gotten this much respect And it feels kinda weird, I don't think I deserve it Why couldn't I have been signed to a label in 2009? I almost got signed, but then the label folded. It was Albert Hammond Jr.'s, or a label that he was on. They wanted to sign me and buy that book. They wanted to support my stuff, and that was the experience that let me come out. I was really, really shy and didn't want to come out. My sister's wedding was October 10th And then I had to sit my parents down Cause I haven't told them that I made music before I mean they knew but they didn't know what the extent I had made cherry blossoms and no worries if you buy that I set them down on the couch It was like there's something about me you need to know I've been making indie music for a while I really want to drop out of school And move to Seattle Cause if NBA be a gym the one team I picked was the Seattle Supersonics They became my favorite team, yeah Even though I'm from Denver and Denver right then And it was really embarrassing cause Denver was a 70 Seattle was the one Sean Kemp 
And I was there, a Sonics fan from Denver Watching my team lose and win I don't know what to think about all of that At least I don't have to root for Seattle Sonics Cause they don't exist And if no, I'm not rooting for the OKC Shout out Oklahoma though You guys have to wait too many turn by So I flew out to New York And I played my songs for them But before I played my songs the office was closed, yeah Cause Steve Vai was in there eating Indian food and they're like, we have to chill out in here until he finishes his Indian food. And I'm like, like this is so, so fucking weird. I was wearing my torn up brown hoodie that my sister gave me. And I sat in the office and I played my fucking heart out. And I could tell that they enjoyed it. And they wanted to sign me. They offered me MacBooks and everything I could ever want. They were gonna support me And then I was out here for Thanksgiving I hit him up again Like, hey, I'm out here to see a friend I never got a response back I got off the plane in Denver In a snowstorm And it turns out I got a text from the people while I was on the plane saying, hey, the label folded. They pulled out of the funding. Everyone's out of a job. Still moved to Seattle. My mom said everything would work out just fine. And from that, I bounced around so many cities. Seattle, Williamsburg, Austin. Chicago, back to Brooklyn, and bed is my home, it is not my home, I'm just staying here renting. I worked at Trader Joe's in Chelsea, 2011. Worked with my coworker, she was really cool and she knew one of the people on the label. Turns out, one of the last days I worked there, I told her my story. Turns out they didn't know the label was gonna lose funding and they all had to figure out the lies. As they died, the music industry shed. I need an upper song What should I say about now? Denver Broncos 0-4 My fantasy team's on the hope I need James Conner to actually do something tonight I think I've had Julio Jones on my fantasy every year He's the best player in football, he's so nice Love how he is He's the anti-Antonio Brown But I don't know these players personally So I don't know what kind of stuff they're dealing with Probably a lot You're the best player in football One of the best If not the best I think you're one Hell of a guy I'm a Broncos fan I'm not a Falcons fan I don't know much about the Falcons I don't know why your line sucks so bad Why is Matt Ryan running for his life every play? I don't know
crazy this week They were playing the Lions And guess what happened The Lions kind of wrecked them They should have won that game but I guess that speaks to how good Kansas City is But I don't think they're gonna get to the Super Bowl I would like to see them cause AFC West I hate all those teams But if it's not Denver Then the ones I want to exceed are AFC West teams And at the bottom of the list is the fucking New England Patriots Fuck that team, fuck the Patriots Fuck the Patriots, fuck the Patriots Fuck the Patriots, Patriots can eat a dick They can eat a fucking dick I hate the Patriots with all of my being it's Bill Belichick is a really good coach Tom Brady is a really good quarterback They all can go fuck themselves in my eyes Cause Patriots are fucking abysmal Everyone's gonna skip this song, let's make it short I don't know what I'm doing with my life I really don't think I'm gonna find any path that makes any sense I'm just worrying my family and friends But I'm gonna be just fine This is like a secret song, like on CDs Where you have to wait a while so the last song can't really be a single Cause then it'll be hard to repeat What was that song? What was the band in the 90s? My mom used to make Christmas so good she bought us, all the three of us, portable CD players and beanbag chairs. 
We had a fireplace, we had a black lap. It was happy Christmas times for everyone. I used to watch Sailor Moon and have a blanket over the TV so nobody saw that I was maybe a sissy. I used to watch Mega Man, I can't believe the voice of I think a like man was the guy from Sugar Ray. But it's not gonna pay my rent. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna email Faith and Nick Fantano. He's gonna ignore it or probably just post this on, but not put it on his YouTube channel. I'm, Mr. Beast is not going to give me any money. Yeah, you wanted it. Ooh, where's my pick? We gotta get, we gotta get some soap in this bitch. Hey, we gotta get some soap in this bitch. You can't clip out the muck. Everybody dead. Everybody, everybody. I want every, everybody get up. Get up. Everybody feel good about yourself. 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 Hey! Everybody feel good about yourself. We're gonna get through this somehow. What is this? I don't fucking know. No one knows. No one has the answers. No one knows. But we're all trying to just be good and be good to others. Be good to others. Try to stay positive. Don't get too low. Know your self-worth. Everybody needs to stay strong for themselves and for others. You gotta keep yourself up right. You gotta keep yourself up all night. All night. Ah, oh, I dropped my pick. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine. I need to find it. Where did it go? Oh, it's right there. Stay positive, everybody, stay positive. Stay positive. Stay positive. Ooh. Everybody, let's go. Wolfie, do you want to say bye to the people? Wolfie's going to get up real close to the mic. That's Wolfie. Thank you, everybody. I hope you have a good day. And I love you all. <laughs>